Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is still the 22nd of March. It is Tuesday, 2022. All right. <laughs> Puppies just went out for a nice little run. Birdies are already locked up. Uh, okay. I want. We're gonna jump right into this video because I want. I want to talk about this because I think that is is important and I, it's, I have lots of questions I have lots of questions for you all okay I've always said to you folks question everything I've always said do your own research because I think that it is important to do your own research uh, I don't always believe that whatever we are told is the truth uh, credibility, in my opinion, is very important. When you have uh, news outlets, social media platforms that do censorship and, uh, you know, label people um, as conspiracy theorists or whatever the case may be. There's Mr. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, look who's coming to Miss Molly. Um, you know, as soon as, and, th and this is why, this is why I tell you guys to question everything. When you have somebody that goes against the, whatever the narrative is, whatever that is considered, uh, the truth or the norm or whatever the case may be, anytime you have somebody that goes against that, and of course now I have Mr. Max is here as well. <laughs> it's so weird how they just like they come and just hang out um but uh so i'm going to give you a couple examples all right you have joe rogan who has a large large audience and because he does interviews with people and he will go ahead and listen to and discuss alternative opinions they want to try to cancel him. You have, uh, you know, you have people uh, that try to uh, force the, uh, the like Spotify. They try to force uh, force uh, Spotify's hand by saying, you know, take my music down, and or or I, you know, or you know, either take him down or or take my music down. And it was a few of them that uh, gave that uh, ultimatum. You know, and it's like, who do these people think that they are? Because somebody has a different viewpoint. Uh, a recent thing is, and I don't know if, if any of you guys watch Russell Brand. Um, I actually like Russell Brand. Russell Brand is a liberal. I mean, he is a hardcore liberal. But he also is one that questions everything. And because he is in that mindset of questioning everything, he has now been labeled a conspiracy theorist, right wing. And he will even laugh um, when he's called right wing, because he said he's anything but right wing. So, I mean, that's coming out of his own mouth. But because he questions everything and encourages people to look at the situation, uh, make decisions based um, on, you know, information, not just what the information that is put out there uh, by social media. I'm going to give you an example of something, okay? Uh, talking to a friend of mine today, and uh, she was saying, um, you know, and she was, you know, talking about politics, and she was talking about, oh, you know, Putin, Putin is a, you know, he's a murderer, you know, they're they're showing the videos, you know, they're killing children and they're killing women, and so when I said to her, I said, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I says, I go, hear me out. And I, and I discussed the situation. And I just used one example, folks. I just used one example. And I said, you know, and I talked about when uh, our troops were uh, killed, the 13 soldiers were killed uh, by that bombing at the airport in Afghanistan, which also killed like 200 civilians too, by the way, besides the number of people that were wounded in that attack, Right. So I talked about that, and I said, uh, you know, and she goes, yeah, I, re I remember that. I said, okay, well, so we had decided that uh, this person was the mastermind of that attack. And she says, 
yeah, I remember that too. And I said, and we took them out with a drone strike. And she goes, no, I, I remember that. I said, yeah. I said, and we killed women and children also in that uh, zone or drone strike. I said, and then ultimately it come to find out wasn't the guy. I said, so wh where's the outrage for that? Where is where are people condemning that and going nuts and being upset? I said, so you know when, and I'm just and not listen. So first of all, let me just say this: I am not rah 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 Putin. Okay, I don't want people all of a sudden because I'm making a statement and saying question the narrative, question what is being fed to you. You know, right now it's it's uh it's great to jump on the bandwagon and call Putin a monster, right? That's the narrative right now. That's what everybody's doing. But again, you know, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones, uh, meaning the United States of America. We kill people indiscriminately all the time uh, if, the, if we feel that it is justified. It's just what we do. <laughs> you know, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not, uh, you know, but that's okay, right? Is that okay? I don't think that that's okay. But, you know... Because and I so so I had said to her I said, where are you getting your information? She goes, well, you know, I'm, I'm watching the news, and I said to her, I says, do you not think that whatever you are being fed through the news is what they want you to think? And she was like, oh, I never thought of that. Okay, so again, most of the folks out there, and this is not a slam against anybody. I, and I'm not trying to slam anybody. I'm not trying to uh, belittle anybody's thought process or anything like that. I'm just saying that you need to question the source of your information, even us here on YouTube. Uh, you know, your your favorite YouTubers, whoever they are, you know. What's their motive behind it? What's the agenda, okay? And so those are things that I think that are important that people really look at when you're when you're given information, and anyway, anyway, like so, with Russell Brand going back to Russell Brand, you got some um, newspapers in the UK that are attacking him right now. All right, because again, uh, he's one that says, and he'll even say it. Same thing, question everything. But because he has, you know, 5.3 million subscribers on YouTube now, well, you know, now he's a threat. He's a danger. So I just, I find that amazing because he's basic, and I watch Russell Brand. I actually like Russell Brand, um, you know, and, but he is somebody that is telling people to question things and because it makes people uncomfortable, okay, and it makes people have to think well, they don't want to do that. They don't want to do their own research. They just, they would rather ostracize somebody, and so that they feel more comfortable and they feel more safe uh, with whatever information they're being fed by the regular media. And how many times? How many times has what the regular media has said turned out to? not be the truth, where down the line, those different conspiracy theories of different things, and I'm not going to mention exactly what they would be, but there have been numerous cases where the so-called conspiracy theory uh, brand turned out to be 100% correct. I find that very interesting. But is there ever an apology? Is there any ever a, a retraction against the character of people that said something that turned out to be correct? Well, of course not. They won't do that. That's not going to happen. So, you know, those are things, again, folks, I, I really think that it is important that all of us, whatever information is being put out there, should be doing your own research. So, again, and I've said it many, many times, anybody that watches this channel knows, I always say, question everything. Whatever anybody says, don't take it for fact, do your own research, but the reality, the reality is, most people won't. So, whatever they're fed, spoon-fed, through the media, whatever, either be it on um, what is acceptable on YouTube. And here's a, here's another uh, thing I'd like to share with you. Just a thought, okay? How come a dissenting view 
is always labeled as, uh, you know, you are a conspiracy theorist or you are spreading false information and, uh, you know, and then you're going to be punished for those things because you don't go along with the thought process that is the acceptable thought process. Why is that, you know, being restricted? Why, why are alternative uh, medicines, alternative views of whatever, whatever is out there, why is that not okay for people to have those thought processes and, and to think outside the box and to think differently than everybody else? So those are some of the things that I think that people really need to pay attention to, uh, to look at and say, hmm, you know. So again, I would, I would always encourage you all to question everything. Don't take everything that is being fed to you as the truth, uh, you know. Because some agency or uh, some company, you know, is saying, oh, this is the way it is and this is, this is fact, doesn't always mean that it's the way it is and it doesn't always mean that it's fact. All right, so just something to think about. I wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's kind of important. Um, again, I'm a big believer in questioning everything. I am not always right. Uh, if I make a mistake, I will be the first to admit that I made a mistake. But, uh, you know... I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, do those things. I'm just trying to share information. So, anyway, guys, um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope your week is going okay so far. Um, I know it's early in the week, but uh, it is definitely chilling down here. Uh, we had the fire going. Well, the fire is going in the house. It's very warm in the house. So, um, a little, little cooler out here, but that's okay. So, anyway... Remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that out, we will absolutely be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? Uh, hang in there, guys. You know, keep taking care of your business. That's the important thing. Keep prepping. Keep getting ready. Uh, and don't believe everything that you're fed because most likely it's not always going to be the truth. <laughs> so, uh, free thinking. They don't want you to do it. So anyway, I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.